Hi, welcome back. And today I'm going to do a full face of makeup that is not at Sephora. I'm so sick of seeing Sephora videos and people talking about the sale and like the sale's fun and stuff, but it's not the best sale. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to like go through my collection and uh, do a full face of products that isn't there. They're not there. They're, they're, you can't get them there. So. Uh, yeah, let's just get to it. Okay, so I did my brows today and I used the e.l.f. Brow Lift in the NYX Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. Um, yeah, I, I honestly think that uh, drugstore brow products are they're the way to go, really, honestly. So the first complexion product I'm going to go in with is the Oric Glow Lust. And uh, I love this product. If you love the Hollywood Flawless Filter, you will love this puppy. I have this in the shade Selenite. I'm just gonna prep my skin with this. Give my base a little extra glow. Okay, Glossy is sold at Sephora now, but honestly, I don't think I have anything complexion-wise that isn't sold at Sephora. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest, but they've only recently begun selling at Sephora, so I figured since I recommended it in my Sephora sale video, I have yet to use it on camera, so I figured that I would demo it today. And we'll just pretend that it's like a year or so ago before they started selling at Sephora, okay? We're, we're just gonna pretend. I have this in the shade L3 and I love it. I think this is the best shade match I've ever used. It's for um, people that have um, light skin with olive undertones and I think it is just absolutely stunning. Like, I really like to use this with a sponge. I think that it has a really nice medium satin-esque coverage. One pump just covered my entire face and it looks really good. I just really like it. I just, I mean, also, disclaimer, I did not buy the set Sephora. I bought it on Glossier, so that helps my case at all. Um, ever since I got this, I haven't been able to put it down, honestly. I really, really love this product, and I think it sits beautifully on my skin. It's an excellent shade match for me, and yeah, it just looks really good. It's just a really good product. Next for bronzer, I'm gonna use the uh, Victoria Beckham Beauty bronzer in the shade two. And this is a beautiful duo toned powder bronzer. That's just so effortless. Like it goes on lightly. You can build it up or you can keep it very like sheer. And it goes on top of a glowy base. Like now, like it, it just looks non-patchy, just so nice. I always have like one straggly hair just sticking randomly to the middle of my face. I think I'm gonna keep it there. Mwah! Love it. Next for blush, I'm gonna go in with a Lip and Cheek Palette by Le and Rouge. I actually haven't talked about this for a while. This is shade Signature. It has four really beautiful shades. I'm gonna go in with this one next to the red and just really swipe my finger in. I think these work just as beautifully on the lips as they do on the cheeks, which you can't say for a lot of products. It's a really interesting formula. It's like cream, but it blends out in this like very velvety powdery way without being patchy or weird or anything like that. I just think it's like such a beautiful product and it doesn't like dry out my lips at all. It just looks like this beautiful like kiss of color. Um, and the same thing on the cheeks, like it just blends in with everything in such a beautiful way. Yeah. It's just like that little kiss, little hint of color. 
And what's nice about this is like you can have your blush and a red lip or a berry, anything like if you want to mix something like it, it's just such a beautiful palette. It would be great for traveling. Um, and yeah, I just I think it's so lovely. So the packaging is pretty luxe. It's not very weighted, um, but it's like it feels like it's a really high quality plastic. Um, and I really appreciate that. Like the mirror is also like really nice too. Um, cause it's kind of a pet peeve of mine is like paying a, like a luxury beauty price point and then the mirror being kind of wonky or fun house looking, if that makes sense. Um, so that's something I appreciate. I appreciate a really nice mirror, but yeah, we'll just keep it there. And yeah, that is the Le Fien Rouge Lip and Cheek Palette. Okay, now on to eyes. The first product is by the brand Ritual de Fee. This is one of their um, Ash and Amber Eye Soots, and I got this in the shade Sigil. This is such a beautiful kind of champagne-y taupe color, and it, it, it advertised as champagne with um, pink, like light pink reflex, but I get more like bronzy champagne than I do any sort of pink in here, but it does lean pretty warm. So this uh, eyeshadow formula is like a loose pigment that's like set with like some type of oil it feels like, but it's not like wet on the eyes. It has like a silky texture to it. It's really, really lovely. And it just gives like kind of like a little bit of a sheen. It's a very satiny, very finely milled. It feels very luxe. And it just has like that subtleness, like everything else in Ritual Defeat. If that if you're into like that kind of subtle, glowy, like a hint of color sort of thing. Um, this is definitely like one of those indie brands that were aiming toward more just like goth alt culture, but made it more luxury. And I think that's what KVD Vegan Beauty is trying to do. I think they kind of took a page from Ritual Defeat's book, but they're not quite as, you know, I don't want to say they're not as successful as Ritual Defeat in that department, but I feel like Ritual Defeat really understands their brand and the aesthetic of their brand. Totally forgot to say like the main point, I picked up this color um, because it's one of the OG colors in the Amber and Ash, Ash and Amber Isots. And they used to be in these tiny little packaging, like teeny, teeny, tiny. And everybody, including me, had complained about not being able to, like wanting to use that product with your fingers. Um, but not being able to fit your finger inside of the container. And so they listened to all of us and repackaged. And yeah, it's just, it's so much better this way. You get the same amount of product. It's just, and it's more luxe feeling. It's nice and heavy and just really, really beautiful. And I'm just overall just really, really happy with this eyeshadow. It's subtle, but it really packs a punch. And then to add a little bit more dimension, I'm going to be taking the uh, Victoria Beckham Lid Luster in the shades Chiffon. And this is also champagne, but it does have more of a cooler reflect to it, which will allow a more like wet effect to the eye. I think these two go together really, really beautifully. Yeah, that's so pretty. Simple, but elegant, you know? Like just, ooh. Maria Beckham um, usually has a Black Friday sale in November and I feel like that's gonna be coming up soon and I always I always participate um and I'm thinking about, I'm gonna get like uh maybe another one of these I have chiffon and mink and I think I'm gonna do tea rose and maybe one of her eyeliners I'm not the biggest eyeliner person um especially eyeliner that's in like a wooden pencil um I don't know what it is. I feel like there's maybe an ingredient in 
you know, wooden pencil eyeliners that my skin doesn't like. Sometimes when I use eyeliners in a wooden component, my eyes will get like these little bumps all over them. And that's the only reason I haven't bought one of her Kajal eyeliners yet um, because the shades are really, really beautiful and they look like they're super like multifaceted where you can use them as like a base or like to create a very easy smoky brown eye, which is what I want to do with them. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I think I might take a chance and like get one and see. I'm gonna finish off my eyes with this uh, little mini of uh, Chanel De Volume mascara. I entertained the idea of buying it. Um, which I still might someday, but it's like $40 or something. Like it's pretty expensive, <laughs> but honestly, it's pretty beautiful. It's a really beautiful mascara and it washes off super easy too, but it doesn't like flake or smudge. Okay, so those are the eyes done. Yeah, what a beautiful mascara. It's just so lovely. Like you can really like, uh, build and build and build and it doesn't really get clumpy or anything. It's pretty similar formula wise to the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. Only I prefer the wand on the Tower 28 a lot more. Mmm. Gorgeous. For lip liner I just went in with a little bit of MAC Strip Down and so for lipstick Dick. I'm gonna go in with the Violette FR Bisu Balm in the shade in the shade Calisson. And this is a very like nice, like everyday nudie brownie pink. It's very, very lovely. Um it's not drying, it has a nice like vanilla scent to it. And it goes really well with Strip Down. I'm gonna go in with the Rowan Liquid Lip Balm, I think is what it's called. Yeah, the Liquid Lip Balm. And I have this in the shade Lola. This is one of the best like lip gloss, nourishing lip glosses I uh, have in my collection. And it very much is what it says it is in the name it's it feels like a liquid lip balm but it's so cosmetically elegant it's so beautiful and it feels so good on the lips it lasts a long time oh i just i love rowan i love rowan beauty it's just and it's not sold at sephora i'm actually gonna ugh, i'm trying to get a lot <laughs> on my lips there um but yeah that's the lips Okay, and that is the finished look. This is an a uh, this is a full face almost of products that are not available at Sephora. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.